I'm going to Central City this summer. I'm doing West Side Story again there, and I'm um, also doing Rape of Lucretia, and I'm singing Lucia in it. And I've never sung any Britain before, and it's tough. You know, it's uh, rhythmically difficult, and um, I'm trying to balance that with doing West Side Story here, and I just got back from New York last week. Um, you know, you have to learn how to kind of fit everything in, which, which can be difficult. But the way I'm preparing for that is I'll try to maybe do it in the morning before I go to West Side Story. Um, you know, I depends on how much time I have. A lot of people are against listening to recordings. I personally am not because I feel like as long as you don't try to imitate what they're doing, it can really be helpful because you can put it in your car and I mean, it can just the the repetition of it really helps me. It always has. Um, if I have a coaching on something, it's it does wonders for me. Um, so I actually listen to every recording I can get my hands on because I want to know how every person that there's a you know documentation of has done it. So you know, I'll know what they've done. So if I do like something, I'm not saying I won't do it. Um, but, you know, at least I've done my research, you know. And if they don't like something, I'll think, oh, well, I'll definitely won't, if I don't like something, I definitely won't do that. Um, but, um, you know, I think that's really how you learn. You learn by watching other people perform and listening to other people perform. Um, so I'll do that. I also try to get, like, on West Side Story, I have a book on, you know, the first production of it and, and how it was performed and how it was made, you know, everything. So that's nice to, um, to look at. Um, I, for Rape of Lucretia, I have a book that a friend of mine gave to me. I, I also have these little, you know, um, angels in my life that'll send me recordings of stuff and books of, the, you know, like this book of Rape of Lucretia that, you know, has the whole script in it. Um, any kind of research you can do on it, you know, it'll just give you more information about it and it'll help you with, with your character. And it's really good to go into a rehearsal with ideas. You know, instead of just making the director do everything for you, which a lot of times they won't. I mean, sometimes you'll get a director who will tell you everything to do and, you know, won't give you any leeway, which I don't really think is the greatest. Um, or you'll give, get a director who doesn't tell you anything, and you basically have to kind of stage yourself. So, you know, the more research you do on it, the better. Y'all are very fortunate to have David Morlock. <laughs> I have to say, he really, he also really taught me how to be on stage because he gives and he, he gives so much to you, but he also lets you have your own ideas, you know? And he'll, he'll tell you when you don't have good ones. <laughs> but in a very constructive, uh, in a very constructive way. So I would say um, through just any kind of research you can do and through study, um, you know, go take your voice lessons. You're, I, I feel like you're never too good for a voice lesson. I'll have some of my friends who aren't singers and, and don't really understand what goes into it say, why are you taking voice lessons? You don't need to take oh. voice lessons. I'm like, no, I do. You know, I feel like I need a tune-up. You know, I need someone, and you need ears that you can trust that are going to tell you when you sound good and tell you when you sound bad. Um, and so, you know, I also have that, which is really good, and I have coaches. Carol, who's great, who will always help me when I'm in New Orleans. I have coaches in New York um, that I go to. And it's an expense. You know, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not cheap. But the only way you're going to get ahead, really, is if you take the time and kind of spend the money to, you know, get yourself ready for the roles, the auditions. You know, you have to, it's a constant process. It's how you really live your everyday life. You kind of prepare for your auditions. You'll find when you get management, sometimes they'll call you the day before. You know, you have an audition for so and so, and you have to sing this. Well, oh my gosh, what if I haven't sung that in a year? Better, better go try to get it ready, you know, because, you, and, and a lot of times, you know, if you think there's no way I can do this, you don't, you know, just try to gear yourself up that you can and um, because if you don't, someone else is going to do it, you know. Um, so I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Going on tangents.